Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Motorola Moto G Stylus that is originally from TrackPhone here in the U.S. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to this screen that tells us that the device was factory reset. And to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pattern that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead down there, it'll pull up the secondary option that tells us that the other thing we can do is to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the phone in order to continue and use it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the lock and obviously they weren't going to have the previous user's login information and the seller in that case has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect through the internet right to your computer to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So as you could clearly see, the device was on the Google log page, and then I just powered it off and then booted it up into our computer program that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. Once the device finishes restarting here, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps without running into the Google lock like we were previously. Okay, so now that it is fully finished restarting, we're gonna go ahead and start going through all of the initial setup steps here one at a time. Gonna hit start there first. Then it's gonna ask us about Wi-Fi, which we don't actually need. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit skip. And now it'll ask us to set the date and time, but we're just gonna skip through all these steps just so we can get this finished as fast as possible. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services. And we don't need a screen lock, so we're gonna skip that step also. Then there's stuff to read about Motorola services. I'm just gonna turn those off and keep going. We don't need to stay in touch with them. And then it's going to teach us how to use Android's gesture navigation. We're just gonna skip through all of that. And then once we swipe up at the end, yep, we've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go under about phone, we can indeed see that we have a Moto G Stylus as the model. And then the specific model number there, the XT2115DL, that is the track phone or straight talk version of the Moto G Stylus. So if you have one of these Moto G stylus with the Google account lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our info there as well.
While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.